My brave citizens. While we are protected from rebel terrorists by the Iron Blockade, the rest of the Empire is not so fortunate. Yet Emperor Palpatine, unscathed by the assassination attempt aboard his new battle station, continues his march toward total victory. So long as the rebel threat endures, so will the blockade. But I believe the end will come. Ubrick Adeliard with the destruction of the Death Star and death of the Order's totalitarian ruler, many worlds across the galaxy began to celebrate the Empire's defeat over Endor with the incorrect notion that the war was over. Despite being at the heart of the Galactic Empire, the Imperial Center would also see tumultuous festivities by its populace, eventually leading to a riot breaking out in Monument Plaza that would eventually coalesce into a full-scale civil war. Owing to the lack of a clear system of succession following the Emperor's death, chaos gripped the galaxy as former Imperial expansionism stalled. Members of the Imperial Council and various other military warlords attempted to grab what territories they could, while tailored propaganda messages often contradicted one another. Some refused to legitimize the New Republic, and thus banned referring to it by name. Others portrayed it as a monstrous terrorist organization, swallowing up imperial worlds for plunder and conquest, while still others refused to even acknowledge the Emperor's death for months. Governor Adeliard, who was in charge of the Anote sector, attempted to downplay the Empire's defeat over Endor and cover up the Emperor's death. The Empire was ripped apart from within as several of their commanders fought one another for power, leadership, and control rendering them weak and no match against the united forces of the New Republic. Shutting down all travel and communications into and out of the Anote sector, Governor Adeliard established the Iron Blockade and formed his own remnant faction. Citizens who dared to fight back and speak of so-called rumors of the Empire's defeat were hunted and eliminated by Commander Bra and his purge troopers. While some such as Grand Moff Lozen Tolruk of Imperial Territory G5-623 on Kashyyyk suggested that the Emperor had escaped the Death Star II through miraculous means, others claimed the even wilder notion that the Emperor was still leading the Empire from beyond the grave. 